Welcome to outer space. No. Back on board Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas. Today, day number six, we are in Nassau, Bahamas. We have a lot of fun stuff in store for today. So let's go ahead and get it started with our astronaut friend here. <laughs> day number six on board Wonder of the Seas and in Nassau, Bahamas begins right. They said it begins right now. over here and we see good old Atlantis over there in the small distance on Paradise Island. We're not headed to Atlantis today. We're headed to see an old friend and you see Bahamar Resort off in the distance there. We're not headed there either. Actually not right next door but a little on past there. Sandals Royal Bahamian in the distance. I believe you can even see the offshore private island over there for Sandals Royal Bahamian as well. So make our way over there for today's adventure. So yes, yeah, Sandals Royal Bahamian here in Nassau, Bahamas. That's right, a Sandals all-inclusive resort. The same Sandals you know and love is here in Nassau. Now, we were at the Royal Bahamian uh, about a month ago, a little over a month ago, for the grand reopening. But the reason why we're going back is that um, not everything was open and functional for the grand opening, um, but they have since reopened every aspect of the resort now, so we're going to do a full tour so you can see absolutely everything. Gonna do the full tour like just mentioned. I think you're gonna also show what it might be like if you went for a day pass. Show you what it'd be like if you chose sandals as an excursion in Nassau. So there you go. We're gonna head down, grab a cab, and uh, we'll head that way. What is today? It is Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> that was like a pterodactyl one. <laughs> is the biggest one in port today. <laughs> hey Matt, do you want a picture with your favorite thing in the whole entire world? I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that was a crazy time trying to get a cab over here. It was just so busy with all the construction going on at the terminal and um, all the fanfare of Wonder being there, which was amazing, but it just made things like pretty congested and busy. Um, but once we got in the cab and going, it only took about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes to get to the resort here, not bad at all and it cost us $10 per person um, for our cab ride to get over here one way. Um, and that was with like a group rate because we, we rode with another couple. If you took a cab on your own, it would have been $15 per person. So just to give you information in case you're coming here for the day. Holy moly, I didn't even notice this the first time we were here. <gasps> Look at that beautiful stained glass. <laughs> Okay, so Matt has left us for a little bit um, so he can go do the full and complete resort tours. But what I wanna try to do for you today is to kind of give you like the experience if you're here for a day pass. So we're gonna be talking about that and checking out a lot of the new things that weren't yet open when we were here before. So I think the most important thing um, to remember if you come here for a day pass 
is every single thing is included. Anything that a regular staying overnight guest would have, you would have as well as um, a day pass guest. The only thing you won't have is a room to go back to or to stay in. But other than that, everything is included. So let me explain some of the things that are included at Sandals, whether you are a regular guest or a day pass guest. So all the dining is going to be 100% included, whether it's something casual, like these really fun food trucks, or if it's something like a sit down restaurant, like Butch's or La Plume. And that's whether it's for breakfast, lunch, or if your cruise ship happens to be um, in dock late and you get to stay for dinner. Either way, you can go and it's completely free. We were a little bit disappointed that we didn't come to eat here last time um, when we were here. So let's take a little break and have some lunch. Let's check out my table and special surprise. He's back for a brief intermission from his tour. So here's a look at the nacho bar. They got the nachos in this cool thing here. You just pop it open, use the tongs to grab whatever you need from inside. Those seasoned chips are looking quite delicious. And of course they have the plates right here. You can go ahead and grab whatever you're ready. Inside of this dish we do have the uh, melted nacho cheese. And over here, I actually got some chili. And then we have our topping selection. We have some shredded cheese, it's like olives. We have some maybe pico, I guess, in there. Tomatoes, jalapenos, guacamole, onions, and sour cream. Happy camper. Very good. Wow, we look at that. That is a beautiful chicken Caesar wrap. And look at the plate that they use. That's really nice, and I didn't realize it was gonna come with fries, so bonus, and Matt got the same thing. Another thing that's included with sandals is the drink service, and that includes alcoholic drinks and non-alcoholic drinks. And here's a little update here, in case you did see our Royal Bahamian videos a month ago. We weren't sure when in March the, um, the third food truck was going to arrive, which is going to be a pizza, Italian theme type of food truck. It is currently March 9th and the food truck is still not here yet. So we're still waiting on that one, but I'm sure it'll be excellent once it's here. Of course, you have absolutely full access to the pools, the pool bars, the towels, that um, those are completely complimentary. They do also have a snorkeling excursion. Um, you can sign up for it here at the Aqua Center and they do it daily as long as weather permits and they take you out on the boat, they give you the snorkeling equipment and you can go out and snorkel on a reef. This is definitely an option. Maybe instead of doing like a snorkeling excursion, you could come get a sandals day pass do the snorkeling excursion here and then enjoy the resort as well. Of course, you have to check with the times with your cruise ship to make sure all that would line up. Another thing that's going to be included at that aqua center that I just showed you is going to be water activities. Like you see those people have the Hobie Cat out. You can also get kayaks or like the aqua trikes and stuff like that. You can grab those completely free and enjoy. Oh my goodness, hello beautiful. You are looking especially blue and glittery today. Man, look at that water. You're gorgeous, Ocean, you're gorgeous. Now, of course, beach access is going to be included in your Sandals Day Pass as well. But let me show you uh, something else that is included. I'm here at Royal Bahamian, that's really special. Here is where we're going right now. That is a private island that you can boat to right here from the dock. Um, and we're gonna go do that because it wasn't open when we were here for the grand opening. And here's at least the boat schedule for today to go over to the private island. Um, it does run the majority of the day, but there are specific times for you to catch the, um, the ferry over. Alrighty, watch your step, watch your head. Thank you. Now something interesting, you have to take your shoes off um, before getting on the boat. Um, I guess they don't want sand collecting on the boat, which makes sense, keeps it clean and everything like that. But take your shoes off, sanitize, and enjoy the boat ride view. First impression. 
impressions is that it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you're not gonna beat a view like this. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. We haven't been here before. Let's go explore some. So right when you come off the pier, you're gonna find Aurelia House, which is um, it was the food location that we really wanted to try on the island. And unfortunately, we're just not gonna have time today. Whoa, this place is really cool looking. And what's really neat, obviously the decor and stuff is pretty, but you look over to this side, ocean view. You look over to this side, more ocean view. This area is pretty cool. It's kind of just like a little comfy zone. You have a lounger. There's like these trees and the sand and it's like very quiet over here and relaxing. So th this is definitely a lot more chill than over like by the main pools and at the main part of the resort. Like, so if you're looking to relax and looking for quiet and stuff, um, I think this area would be a really, really good spot. Oh, we kept going and look, there's a sign for the red line because they will do spa treatments out here and you can actually see some people getting some treatment like right out by the water. It looks like they're still doing some construction out there. Um, they have it taped off so we can't go past this point, um, but it does look like they're, they're putting like a, an outlook over there, like right at the very point, which is really cool because look, you can see the cruise ships going by. Not every single point of this beach is going to be like accessible to get into the water. Like you see how this portion is very, very rocky. Probably would not be a good idea to get in over on this side. However, if you turn around over to this side, it's completely sandy, pretty calm, just very, very light waves coming in. So this would totally be good to swim in. And um, we heard that there's actually really good snorkeling off this island. Once again, we're not gonna have time to experience it ourselves today, but um, definitely give it a try um, if you enjoy snorkeling. And once again, if you have a day pass, this whole island is completely accessible to you. So you could come over here to snorkel, relax, maybe get some food at Aurelia House, come to the, the pool over here, whatever you wanna do you totally can take advantage of this island and that's what makes Royal Bahamian so special because there's only two sandal resorts um, that include an island like this um, so it's a very special inclusion and I think definitely helps make that day pass worth it if you're looking to do it for an excursion. this little island it's not too big there's not maybe a ton of things to do or see over here it's very calm very relaxing and a helpful tip they will beep the boat horn to let you know that they're about to load up and go so let's load up and go <laughs> Something we definitely need to talk about the day pass is one availability and two how much it costs so ever since the covid closure they haven't had day passes available for gas now um, we don't know when the day passes are going to start back up again but i did inquire today and they said that it should be pretty soon um, they don't have a date yet, but they feel like it's coming pretty soon. So that's very good news. And of course, what you're probably going to be most interested in is the price. So before, um, before COVID, I remember it being maybe like around $150 to $180 per person. Um, I don't know what it's going to be exactly when they start doing it again. The price may fluctuate some but that's a ballpark. And that's gonna do it for our time here at Sandals Royal Bahamian. I know it went by so fast. We were just here for a couple hours to film the tour. We will be back someday, I'm sure. So for now, bye bye Royal Bahamian. And more importantly, bye bye Private Island. It was so nice to finally get acquainted with you today. Yeah, they stay longer. True. Right. <laughs> they stay longer. Yeah, hey, where's that? Yeah, everything. So far, same old thing.
Okay, back on board, and we are diving straight into some fun. Some fun that we have been waiting to have back for an extremely long time, That's and I can't wait. This Hi, is the first sailing that has this activity back. So we're at Studio B, not for ice skating, but for laser tag. And it's not Battle for Planet Z like we've done several other times. Clash for the Crystal City, which is brand new to us. So there it is, we are setting our sights on the Crystal City for the first time ever. Yetis and snow shifters will be battling it out for this turf. to create the maze and play area for laser tag. So unfortunately we can't film while we're playing laser tag, but but they were nice enough to let us all come down and film inside the area before we begin gameplay. So, yeah, so you can get an idea of what the space is gonna be like, but so far I like this so much more than Battle for Planet Z. I agree, and Battle for Planet Z was great. This seems to be better though. So what's this one called? Clash for the Crystal City. Ooh, I'm gonna find some crystals. Ooh. While we wait, here's the skinny on the laser tag and all the deets of what you need to know. You don't have to reserve or anything. Um, this session goes from 4.30 to 8.30, so you have four hours to play. And there was another four hour session earlier in the cruise, um, so that's the times for right now. You have to be at least five years old to play. Um, I'm not seeing any height restrictions. Um, so I think you're good to go there. Um, you have to wear closed toe shoes though, that's a must. It's first come first serve and most importantly, it is completely free. This is a free, fun activity and it's one of our favorites. And we have a content creator frenzy going on. Cruising with JT right over there. We got Travel Speed here, Griffin and Alyssa on down, AK Adventures made. They brought Addy and Terry with them. Everybody's here, ready to go get the laser tag on. They said that they can do groups of 12 at a time. Oh, okay. So that's the party size that we're looking at. Okay, so check this out. This is the group that's going in ahead of us. So depending on what color your vest is depends on what team you're on. So obviously the green vest is one team and the purpley kind of vest are another team. And if, whoa. Look, I'm glowing already. Anyways, um, also too, if this is the same one we've done it previously, like it randomly selects your team. So you don't like get to pick who's on your team. All right, so we're not playing our game yet, but there's another uh, group that's playing right now. So somebody can come in and vote them playing. Yetis have taken the lead. I dare say that was the most fun we've had with Royal Caribbean laser tag. Ever. I mean, the anticipation build up, not having done it for two years now, um, helped. But then when you play with an awesome group like that, that's really what makes it. The energy was there and it was so much fun. And also too, I just like the Crystal City theming like more than the... Battle Bla for Planet Z. Yeah, like it, it was so much fun. Our friends made it fun, the theming made it fun. And you're right, the anticipation was crisp and I'm glad we are able to enjoy it again. Absolutely. Your team, the Yetis, took home the uh, the trophy. Yetis win this round. You did get the highest score on your team though, so... I get the highest score of all. Oh, naturally. I mean, I didn't win, right? So I gotta, gotta take that little, little yeah, moral victory. Take your victory. Victory lap of losing. I'll take the big victory. Yeah, you actually won, so... <laughs> All changed up and ready to go. 
And you know what? Matt is so excited about dinner tonight. He even put on a collared shirt when he didn't have to. It's true. It's true. You could say that you look. That's you tonight. I don't know about that. It's <laughs> pizza. Okay, let's go. Tonight's dinner takes us to Central Park. A stroll through Central Park to our dining establishment. And we have arrived at Giovanni's Kitchen. I think we got the best table. A view back into the restaurant, into the kitchen, right there at the pizza oven. But yes, we're outside. You see the other tables and chairs there. And then look. We got the plants and the trees right here. We got the big skylight with the colors into the promenade. And we look up. We can see the sky. Of course, it's open air here in Central Park. Oh man, this is really top drawer. And the um, the the band is about to start playing. Oh yes, live entertainment. And here's a look at our menu. setting up here but actually checking the schedule they were tearing down it's just gonna be the Caribbean music from the pool deck like it's like the lime and coconut area which is right up there um, so yeah we're getting some Caribbean music right now in our Central Park which is kind of odd oh my good golly goshness this car is red if it's anywhere near as good as it was on Odyssey we are in for a treat smells just as good as the one on Odyssey. Like, this this may be one of the best parts of the meal, and that seems pretty extreme for bread, but I stand by it. And look, you got the, the sauce there with like the pesto. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, that was absurdly, absurdly good. And our first up appetizer is up, the calamari and polenta. And our second appetizer is here. What is this? The truffle? It's a truffle caprese salad. Oh. I'm currently inspecting what's all going on in here. So I know that these are heirloom tomatoes, and that's like a big thing of mozz, um, as in mozzarella. And um, I don't know what that is. Is that like a slice of orange? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll find out. But it does have like balsamic and like kind of like cherry tomatoes. It looks good. It's a yellow tomato. There you go. I think that's an heirloom tomato too, which I didn't know could be yellow, but here it is on my plate. I'm enjoying it. Lasagna! The Garfield special. There you go. And I went with the chicken parmesan, and that is a hefty portion. Also, you know what's coming. Soup. Whoa. And here is our Giovanni's pizza featuring the spicy salami and honey. This was a favorite of talk about the ambiance here in Central Park. Of course you have the big television screen up there with the movies and such. They had the Caribbean band playing while we were dining. And that has been a hot topic of discussion for Wonder of the Seas because usually on Oasis class ships, Central Park is known as a calm, relaxing environment. Come have dinner, come have drinks, chill out, listen to maybe some violin or guitar or something like that. And of course now you are getting the Caribbean band which while they are amazing is quite loud and when there's a movie playing which there is right now but they don't have the sound on for it 
which is kind of odd. But <laughs> when there is the sound on, it is extremely loud as well. So I think that's something to consider, especially if you're thinking about booking a Central Park balcony or a Central Park uh, interior with the Central Park view, I mean. Uh, think about that because it's quite loud. I, that's maybe not my favorite choice. Um, it's still it's still very nice in Central Park. Like it's still gorgeous and they still do play the live music sometimes. It's just sometimes you're gonna get that Caribbean music and sometimes you're going to get the the movie screen, which can be pretty loud. Yeah. But we got pizza to go. <laughs> We started our day off with your sibling, friend, co-worker. Oh, you, you have an idea of what we should do next? You're, you're saying we should go down there? Well, what's the easiest way to get down there? for day number six on board Wonder of the Seas and our fun little visit to Sandals. It was a fun visit. It was good to be back and then it was good to be back on Wonder and tomorrow it is going to be good to be at a perfect day. Perfect day. Tomorrow will be a perfect day at Coco Cay and I can't wait. And enjoy our last night on board Wonder of the Seas. So. Can't believe in a flash. A flash. Like the flash. Very Helen. Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> With that said, if you're interested in coming on board Wonder the Seas or heading to Sandals or doing something else, we can make some of that happen for you. As travel agents, it would be our pleasure. It's completely free to you, of course, and uh, you can reach out via that travel agent information in the description of this video. That's going to do it for tonight. Tomorrow, it's the last day. It's a perfect day. We hope we'll see you back then. But we're signing off for tonight. See you tomorrow. Happy, Happy travels. travels! Before a perfect day. Perfect, perfect day. day. Perfect day. day. We gotta go to bed so we have a perfect day. We're not tired of perfect day. Good night! <laughs>